Hi, I'm coming to you from my love notes from God.com, and my name is Brian Gosher. And uh, I just wanted to share something from God's Word that I was reading this morning. Um, Romans chapter 8 and verse 1. Therefore, there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. And uh, I'm doing a Bible study right now uh, in, in Romans, and we happen to be on this chapter. And uh, there's just an incredible amount of truth uh, in this chapter. But just the first verse, there is therefore now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus. Well, first of all, how do you get in Christ Jesus? It simply means you ask. You ask, and God places you in Christ Jesus. And, and basically, it's the good news of the gospel, which is the good news of God. Um, God coming down to this earth in a in the form of a man, and that man's name was Jesus Christ. And he paid the penalty for your sin and for mine and for the entire world. But not the entire world will ask to come in. Many people are just uh, satisfied to live their lives the way they want to and um, and take their chance on, uh, on that day when they'll have to face God. But to those who are uh, unsatisfied with their sinful life. A sin leads to death and all people will die because all people are sinners and um, and that means me and that means you. So simply by asking God to come into your life that you're sorry for the for the sin that you that you live and and you don't want to do those things anymore and you simply ask God and he'll place you in Jesus Christ and now your life will take on a different form and it doesn't mean that you'll stop sinning because we all have that nature that old nature to sin, but it means that your attitude in your heart will be toward God rather than to myself. Before I came to Christ, I was all about me, but now that I'm in Christ, my heart and my mind is always towards God in everything I do, and it doesn't mean I walk around in a daze and just uh, like a robot. I don't. I live my life. I do my job, and I do the things that I need to do, but deep inside, my heart and my mindset is always thinking about God in every situation and every place I'm in. I had one of the men in my Bible study come up to me and he told me that he said he just couldn't stop thinking about God. He thought there was something wrong with him and I thought you know what I told him that that's a great place to be in. I wish all of us were in that position where our heart and our mind and our thoughts are always toward God. It's not perfection it's always direction. But if you are in Christ, if you are walking with a heart attitude to please God and to walk with him then this verse says there is therefore now, right now, this very minute, no condemnation or no judgment. God has paid that. He's taken that out of the picture. On the cross, God took the penalty and the judgment for your sin and for mine. And because of that, and, and walking in Christ now, we're free from that penalty of our sin. We're free from having to obey what sin always dominating us to do because before Christ I was just basically a robot I, I sinned and I did things just according to the way I thought they should be done and I had no thought or, or attitude to think about God at all but now that I'm in Christ I want to walk in him now there's still that tug of war that goes on in all of our lives that sin is trying to pull us in one direction our old nature and God is pulling us in the other and the only way you can overcome that is through the Word of God stay in every day uh, God's Word and in time alone with him and as you do that then God is going to start to imprint himself on you and you become more and more like him and uh, and that's what we're trying to do here at uh, my love my love notes from God is to have it be a place where uh, those who are in Christ can walk in encouragement and be lifted up. We're going to have resources and Bible studies and links to places where you can find help for addictions and, and every sort of thing. Um, we are still at the beginning stages, so have patience with us. But I hope that helped you out today. And, um, and remember to always keep your heart and attitude towards God and stay in the scriptures every day. Spend some time alone with God. He's waiting to hear from you. So God bless you all. I look forward to talking to you again in the next video. Bye-bye.